Hi everyone, welcome to The Thrifty Jewel. I'm a full-time thrifter and reseller. I sell on eBay and Poshmark, and I make videos that show little snippets of what it's like to do what I do. This, today's video is what I do to my items to prep them before I sell them. And right behind me here, I have my go-to basket of cleaning items. So I'm gonna go over them really quick to show you what I have found that works for me in prepping these items for resale. I would say about 85 to 90% of the items that I sell are clothing items, and those I bring home and put right into the washer. Although not all clothing can be thrown into the washer. Some items are dry clean only. I don't have it with me right here, but I have one of those dry cleaning bags that you can throw the items into and throw them in the dryer. Those kits work great for items that are dry clean only and you just wanna freshen them up. So what I'll do is I'll wash the items and hang dry or throw them in the dryer, whatever the material is. This is one of my most important items that I have, I would say, in my toolkit. This is so much faster than ironing. I will do several pieces of clothing at a time. This also does help to sanitize items that cannot be thrown into the washer as well. Or if you have an item that is new with tags and it just has wrinkles in it, you can use this to get the wrinkles out and it looks great. If I'm shopping online, I will scroll right past something that has wrinkles in it. So this is a really fast way to get rid of those wrinkles. Next item in my toolkit that I recommend is a clothing shaver. This gets all the little fuzzies and the little pills off of sweaters and that sort of thing. I got this on Amazon as well as the steamer. I will link as many things as I can in my toolkit in the comments below. The reason why I selected this one is it has this little pop out electrical plug and it doesn't run on batteries. This one you can charge up in an outlet. So that's the reason why I picked this one because batteries can drain really quickly when you're doing a lot of different items. This next little tip might seem a little strange to a lot of you, but it works very well. I discovered it a few years ago from someone who worked in the theater. They would use this to freshen costumes that couldn't be laundered when they were on tour from night to night, and it really helps to get rid of smells. I buy a lot of vintage items, and some of them can have a musty smell to them, and some clothing even has that thrift store smell. So this is my go-to for that. It is vodka. I buy the, the cheapest brand that I can find. I think this one was like five bucks. So I pour it full strength into a spray bottle. I hang the item on a hanger and I just spritz it really well all over both sides and I just let it hang and dry. And I will tell you, this really works. It eliminates the odors. I've picked up several beautiful faux fur vintage coats. They seem to absorb the thrift store smells. This will remove the smell. This next item is something that I use probably more than anything else in my toolkit and it is disinfecting wipes. I use these to wipe everything down that can't be washed. I use these on shoes. I use them on purses. I wipe everything down with these. The next item that I use is alcohol wipes. A lot of thrift stores use marker to put prices on different items. And I'm going to demonstrate really quick how I use them. Now, these are alcohol wipes. You can also use rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball. That works just as well. But I find these convenient is I just take an alcohol wipe and there's the marker right there. And sometimes it takes a little bit of elbow grease. And you can see the red marker coming off onto the wipe. And it is gone. These next two items kind of work together and I have this little tool, it's called a Scotty Peeler and it's like a little spatula and I got it on Amazon and I believe it came in a three pack for just a couple of bucks. And this works really well when you want to remove a price tag off of an item and so I'll just take this and remove it and then I take um, Goo Gone and I will rub that onto the residue and that takes the rest of it off and then you can use this to kind of scrape and these two work really well together. Now, when it comes to leather items, leather purses, leather belts, leather coats, leather shoes, I don't use the Clorox wipes for that to clean. I use leather wipes. I get these just in the grocery store in the cleaning supplies, and these condition and clean the leather. I also like to use this Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. I got this on Amazon. Again, I will link it below. This works really well in cleaning any suede items. I also like to use this Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. I will link this in the comments as well. I got this on Amazon. It is a great leather conditioner. It has a little sponge inside, and then it's got this little tray that holds the sponge. And it's an ointment type product. Just use this little sponge to apply it. This works really well at like sort of rejuvenating the leather. It makes it more soft and supple. I always keep a tied to go pin in my basket. Um, this is great for spot treating certain items. This works really well, 
but I have also learned that Dawn dish soap, just a little drop on a stain and just kind of work it in, works really well for removing a lot of different stains. I have this little um, shoe cleaning, suede cleaning brush. You can use this for cleaning shoes or brushing on suede. I got this on Amazon as well. So I also keep lint brushes in my kit. I'll use these when I'm taking photos before I take the shots. I'll roll it over the item to make sure there's no lint. I also keep one of these at my shipping station to make sure as I'm packing that I'm not sending off things that are full of lint and hair. Sometimes I will pick up an item that the sticker is really stubborn and doesn't want to come off. Or I will pick up a new with tags item that has like the red clearance sticker on it. And I want to remove the clearance sticker without tearing the uh, little cardboard price tag. I have this hot air gun that I got on Amazon. It is perfect for heating up the sticker and it'll just peel right off. So keep a pair of scissors in my kit. Um, I learned a long time ago not to pull any strings that are loose on clothing items. Also keep breast cleaner in my kit as well. I have sold hundreds and hundreds of clothing items over the years. I have never gotten any bad feedback that the item had a bad odor to it or that it was not clean. It only takes a few extra minutes to clean and prep an item. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you like this kind of video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.